someone waits for me. This is Ken Carpenter welcoming you to the Bing Crosby Show, presented by Chesterfield, produced and transcribed in Hollywood, with John Scott Trotter and his orchestra, Judd Collins with the Mayors, and Bing's guests, Dixie Lee Crosby and Gary, Dennis, Philip, and Lindsay Crosby. As is Bing's custom at Christmas time, he opens the program with a dusty Fidelis, and as usual, he will sing it first in Latin, and then in English, with a studio audience joining him. Yes, Ken, I think it would be very fitting, very nice, if our guests here would uh, join in a chorus, a second chorus, and come all you faithful, huh? Bing, I think it would be very nice if the home folks listening in all over the world would join in, too. Oh, it would indeed. Gather around, folks, wherever you may be, and help us sing this eternal hymn. Our best day be dayless, lady tree on fountains, they need a, they need a, in Bethlehem. No. Everybody here and at home in the family key. Time, folks, to present our first guest of the evening, a young man with whom I'm associated, uh, shall we say, in a business way and uh, also socially, too. Uh, Mr. Gary Crosby. Would you take a bow, Gary? Thanks, Dad. Gary, John Scott Trotter, and Tom Adair have come up with a flashy new arrangement of that old song, of Jingle Bells, with parts for you and me and... Rhythm as you got your part there? Mm. Is that it? In studying? Is that mm. it? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good opener, don't you think, for you and I? That's got to get rolling? Sure. Hmm. Say, Dad, by the way, how'd our record of uh, Sam's song and Simple Melody go? Oh, it went very big. Haven't you heard? Sold over 200 copies. Mm, that's wonderful. <laughs> Great. Isn't that grand? Grand. Yeah, I knew you'd be happy. Well, how about getting on with Jingle Bells, huh? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Oh, jingle bells, 
way Dashing through the snow In a one-horse sleigh All the fields we go And we're laughing all the way Oh, now the bells on bobtail ring And they're making spirits bright What fun it is to ride And sing a sleighing song tonight Ja, 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 jingle. What a beautiful day for a ride in the sleigh. Gotta get underway. Ja, 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 jingle. It's a really time trick because like little chicken, you figure to click. Ja, 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 jingle. You're a slap happy pair like a square at a fair. Leave your cares and jingle all the way. Jingle bell, 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 jingle bell. Oh, what fun it is to ride in the one horse open sleigh. You got your girl by your side, so jingle. The fellow I step in there, take a rope of the square, how the fellas will stare. Ja-ja-ja-jingle. And you speed out of town, take and drag like a clown over the snow-covered ground. Ja-ja-ja-jingle. You're as smug as a bug in the rug, so you stop for a hug and jingle all the way. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Oh, what fun it is. In a snow and ice fairy land, oh, but the trip is grand. You've got a winner, just go for a spin in a one-horse open sleigh. thing and Gary, you certainly did great with that perennial Christmas favorite. Well, I hope so, Ken, and thank you for those kind words. Say, shall we get on now to another perennial Christmas favorite, the Chesterfield gift carton? Oh, huh? yes, sir, Bing. Year after year, the bright, gay Chesterfield Christmas carton of 200 milder Chesterfields is not only an ideal Christmas gift, but the best Christmas gift for every smoker. And the gift every smoker will appreciate, those who have always smoked Chesterfields and those who will enjoy Chesterfields for the first time. Once they open them, smell them, and smoke them, they'll always be satisfied Chesterfield smokers. Yes, that's it, Bing. Folks, open a pack of Chesterfields. Give them a smell, then you'll smoke them. Just make your next pack Chesterfields. Then open it and enjoy that milder, mellow Chesterfield aroma. Compared with the brand you've been smoking, and your nose will tell you the difference between Chesterfields and other cigarettes. Friends, tobaccos that smell milder smoke milder. Tobacco men have been saying that for generations. You smoke them. And you'll find Chesterfields are milder, and they leave no unpleasant aftertaste. Yes, the country's first and only cigarette taste panel confirmed this fact. Chesterfield is the only cigarette in which members of the panel found no unpleasant aftertaste. So make your next pack Chesterfield and prove for yourself it's the best cigarette for you to smoke. Chesterfield, Chesterfield, always wins first place. That milder, mild tobacco never leaves an aftertaste. So open up that, give them a smell, then you'll smoke them. Oh. <laughs> now, folks, if Ken Carpenter will set the scene, I'd like to move along. I'd like to move you along with it in fancy, that is, to Christmas Eve, 1950. Ladies and gentlemen, we now take you to the Crosby home in Beverly Hills, California. It's Christmas Eve, and we find Bing and Gary engaged in a discussion of great importance. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the bells. Gee, Dad, why do you have to go through this every now, year? Never mind, never mind giving me any beef. Just hand me those red pants. <laughs> Dad, why do you insist on playing Santa Claus? What are you trying to prove? Gary, you're a big boy now. You're grown up. You're sophisticated. You're worldly. We've lost you. <laughs> but not your little brothers. Why, I wouldn't think of not playing Santa Claus for them. They love it. It's wonderful to see their little faces light up with amazement and happy surprise when I bounce into the room. They could be acting, you know. No. <laughs> I admit I don't convince you anymore, Gary, but your younger brothers are not wise to me yet. And as long as I can make their little eyes dance with glee, I'm going to. Oh, okay. 
But I still can't understand why parents insist upon stifling their kids' mental development at this time of the year. <laughs> reading quick, huh? Yeah. Don't argue with Papa Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. That's all I can tell you. You're liable to wind up with an empty stocking. Now, come here. Put, uh, put my beard on me, if you please, huh? Yes, sir. There you are. The beard doesn't go up there. Pull it down over my chin. I was just trying to make the disguise more convincing. Wise guy. <laughs> well, I'm all set. Oh, wait just a minute. Wait oh. just a minute. Santa has to have a big, fat tummy. Hand me those two pillows. I'll stuff them in my coat. Uh, I think you can get by with just one pillow this year. <laughs> Nick Scracken, just shove those pillows in my coat. Yes, sir. There, that does it. Yes, sir, that's Santa's tummy, all right. Oh, if those pillowcases spring a leak, we're sure going to have a white Christmas around here. <laughs> now, come on, let's not think in terms of disaster. Here's the plan, Gary. Here's what I want you to do. You go out in the living room. You get everyone assembled, you see. Then I'll sneak out around the house. I'll come in the living room window with my bag of presents. Why don't you come down the chimney like you always do? Oh, 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 oh. Last year I got stuck, you know. That was the biggest laugh you ever got. <laughs> well, I didn't laugh. Are we going to sing Christmas carols tonight, Dad? We certainly are, right after we distribute the presents. Now, while everybody's putting their gifts under the tree, I'll sneak out, change my clothes, then we'll go out and we'll sing for our friends. You know, like what right. I do for the friends and the neighbors. Yeah. I'd better go in the living room now and soften everybody up for your entrance. Good, do that. Well, then, Gary, when I come in the window, I do wish that you'd work up just a little enthusiasm, a little surprise, huh? Oh, don't worry. My little eyes will just dance with glee. <laughs> I may even fall into a faint. Now, don't. <laughs> Try to win the Academy. Don't overdo it. Uh-oh. Nick. Oh. Twins. Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. What, uh, what are you fellas doing in here? Oh, just snooping around. Hey, who's the guy in the red suit? That's Santa Claus, you dumbbell. <laughs> bet these are the twins, little Dennis and little Philip. Hey, he knows us, Phil. I was just asking Gary if you fellas had been good little boys this year. You didn't squeal, did you, Simple Melody? <laughs> no. As a matter of fact, I was just telling Santa what dear, sweet little children you were. You can go by what this boy says, Santa. He's very reliable. Now, come on, fellas. Let's go in the other room. Goodbye, Santa. See you later, I Oh, hope. yes, yes. Yes, indeed. Goodbye, Santa. Bye, Mr. Claus. It's been a pleasure. Bye, boys. <laughs> Goodbye. It's been nice seeing you. <laughs> Gee, Santa Claus is certainly a wonderful man, isn't he? Yeah, pop his tops. <laughs> what do you mean, pop? That was Santa Claus. Oh, Gary, let's act our age, shall we? Oh, you guys were wise all the time, huh? Sure, but if he wants to put on that old hot suit and wear that itchy old beard... <laughs> It's all right with me. Let him live a little. <laughs> sure. Sure, we can stand it if he can. Well, don't say anything in front of Lenny. Hey, where is Lynn? Over there in front of the fireplace, waiting for Santa. Well, he better turn his chair around and face the window. Santa's making a different entrance this year. <laughs> Hi, Hi, man. Hi, gang. <laughs> Gee, I wish Santa Claus would hurry up. I'm a nervous wreck. Me too. Me too. Lynn, we're going out to sing Christmas songs in a few minutes. Where are your stockings? I took them off and hung them on the mantel. <laughs> I'm certainly glad we have only one hillbilly in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Just shake a little more Fitch's tonic into your beautiful blonde wavy hair and don't worry about me. <laughs> now, now, boys, it's Christmas Eve. We don't want Santa to catch us in the middle of a brawl. Hi, Mom. Hi, Hi Mom. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, boys. Well, you lads look fairly presentable to greet St. Nick. You look real beautiful, too, Mom. Thank you, Lynn. And may I inquire why you aren't wearing stockings? I hung them on the mantel. <laughs> well, you skip right upstairs and get another pair. Oh, Mom, I don't need stockings. Honestly, you're getting to be more like your father every day. <laughs> I favor Dad, too. In the vocal department, of course. You know, Gary, sometimes I wish Sam's song had never been written. <laughs> I think Mom seems just as good as Dad any day. Well, bless every single blonde, beautiful, wavy hair in your head. <laughs> hey, look, there's someone at the window. 
Wow, it's Santa Claus. Hooray. <laughs> Gosh, I think I'm going to faint. Steady, son. He's opening the window. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 everybody. Now, is this the Crosby house? Yes, sir. And are there four nice, big, strong, healthy boys here? Yes, sir. We're plenty strong. Well, then get over to the window and drag Sandy in. <laughs> well, I'm having a little trouble here. Looks like I'm stuck. I'll help you, Sonny. We'll get you we'll in. Get you in. Everybody grab a hold and pull. All together now. Pull. Easy now. Mm. Whoop, whoop, look out. There goes the window shade. <laughs> in you come, Santa. Those feathers fly. <laughs> well, so these are the Crosby boys, huh? That's right, Santa. And all very good boys, too. Now, let me see here. Which is which? Now, there's Gary. There's Dennis and Philip. And this all oh, this little fella here. <laughs> Why, you're Lenny Crosby, as I recall. <laughs> and you're Bing Crosby, as I recall. <laughs> Good night, Irene. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. How'd you know it was me, Lenny? Your beard went up with the shade. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at it dangling up there. Shall I take it down, Mom? No, leave it there. Maybe some doves will nest in it. <laughs> Man, what a tough time I had getting through that window. I like it better when you get stuck in the chimney. <laughs> I wish you boys would grow up so your poor father wouldn't have to go through this every year. Oh, I don't mind. I wouldn't miss being Santa for the world. Say, look, we got to get rolling. It's getting later. we got to go out and sing some Christmas carols. You remember? You boys want to run through your songs first? Kind of drop them uh, up a little? We know those songs, Dad. Huh? You'd better rehearse, Gary. I don't want you kids running all over the neighborhood singing off-key. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you lads gather around the piano now and run through all your numbers. I'll go get the Hoover and back him up these feathers while you're rehearsing. I don't want you singing off-key either. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I guess you and I lead off, Gary. A song called That Christmas Feeling. I love that Christmas feeling. It does my heart so much good. Strangers I meet all seem like friends And the world's just a neighborhood So here's to the joy of Christmas And here's to the ones I hold dear. May you have that Merry Christmas feeling all through a happy new year. That one good shape. Now we got a song coming up here from Lindsay. Uh, what's what's your big number this year, Lynn? I'd like to hit the ride with Santa Claus. Well, you go right ahead and hit that ride. Care to join me? Well, thank you very much. Not at all. Hang in time, glad. <laughs> I'd like to hit a ride with Santa Claus. Well, wouldn't that be something to see? I'd like to hit a ride with Santa Claus, dodging the clouds, waving at crowds. I'd crack the whip and keep a watch for weather vanes. For weather vanes. I'd help him with his bag and check. 
back, it's Christmas time. Or maybe you could handle the reins. I'd like to hitch a ride with Santa Claus. Wouldn't they be jealous of me? You couldn't say I ran away because after we roam. Well, he'll drive you home. He'll drive you home. And when they see me Christmas morning, what will they say with a look of delight? There goes the boy that rode with Santa Claus last night. Next. <laughs> Say, hey, Denny, Phil, you ready with your song? Yes, sir. What would the title be, please? We have a song designed for little children. Little which is children? called The Snowman. Mm, designed for little children. Do I detect a note of, of irony here? Revolt or something? <laughs> well, Dad, we think we're too grown up to sing a song like this. Hmm. You do, huh? Yes, we have girls listening in. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I'm sure your girls will understand that you're both sophisticated, experienced men of the world. Yes, sir. <laughs> On a Christmas Eve, a happy snowman stood and dreamed beside a cottage door. How the children loved their friend the snowman and the funny fedora he wore. Funny fedora. When they said good night, they told the snowman that a gift for him was on the tree. So he called himself a lucky snowman, just like one of the family was he. The cottage porch looked beautiful and bright. The holly wreath was turned on for the night. When all at once it caught on fire and fell, he couldn't knock, he couldn't ring the bell. He couldn't run for help, he couldn't call, but then he had to save the children after all. After all. He knew he'd melt away, and yet the snowman threw himself across the burning floor. How the children miss their friend the snowman, but they'll always remember him for... A heart that was brave and the joy that he gave And the funny fedora he wore All together now Christmas feeling It does my heart so much good Strangers I meet all seem like friends And the world's just a name Christmas Eve, and that's just about what's going to happen up at our house. You know, Bing, no matter what Something your kids like think, you make a mighty convincing Papa Santa Claus on the Chesterfield Christmas carton. 
Oh, Ken, that cheers me up a great deal. Well, I'm glad. And on the cover of Quick Magazine, out tomorrow, there's a picture of you and a caption reading, Bing plays Papa Santa. You know, Ken, I think the Chesterfield people and Quick and everybody, they're very nice to make me Papa Santa Claus this year, but there's just one thing wrong. What's that? All my mail is going to the North Pole. <laughs> Tragic. How are you going to get your mail back? I made a deal with Bob Hope. Oh? Next time he passes through there, he's going to pick it up for me. <laughs> Uh, Robert goes to the North Pole quite often, doesn't he? He goes everywhere quite often. <laughs> Incidentally, Ken, I'm sending Bob two cartons of Chesterfields for Christmas this year. Two? What's mm-hmm. the idea of that? Well, one is for him to smoke, and the other is for him to change the tag on, send it back to me. Oh, I see, yeah. That way you're sure of a wonderful gift. You bet, Ken. And to you folks listening in, Chesterfield's Christmas carton makes a wonderful gift for every smoker. Tuck a carton in the old man's stocking. Lay in a supply for the milkman, the mailman. For just about everyone on your Christmas list. That's right, friends. This year's Christmas carton of Chesterfields is the greatest of them all. It says best of cheer and best of smoking as only a Chesterfield Christmas carton can say it. It stars Bing Crosby as Papa Santa Claus, and it's complete from Santa's sleigh to the red-nosed reindeer. This year, give Crosby for Christmas. Give cartons of Chesterfields. (laughs) Order enough today at your favorite cigarette dealer. And now a word to the whole Chesterfield family. All of our 1,100,000 retail dealers, our 600,000 wholesale distributors, Merry Christmas to each one of you. I hope we've helped you sell more Chesterfields throughout the year. Produced and transcribed in Hollywood. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.